An explosion rocks the small neighborhood of Terrell Hills this morning on the city's northeast side of town. The fire leveled a home and sent one woman to the hospital with severe burns. It happened on Lyman, off Riddiman and Harry Wurzbach today. News 4's Matari Jones explains what happened and has some advice from firefighters so something like this doesn't happen to you. There's no more roof on the front of this house. There is on the back. Huge bright flames lit up the nighttime sky at this home on Lyman on the city's northeast side about 5.30 this morning. She was in the kitchen lighting her stove. And when she turned, she heard the explosion. The explosion knocked her to the floor. Firefighters believe a gas leak triggered the blast that sparked the fire as the woman was trying to cook breakfast. The fire moved so fast, the home was fully engulfed by the time firefighters arrived. The explosion rattled neighbors and their homes. And it was pretty mighty. The house shook. The house was engulfed. It was a horrible explosion. Terrell Hills firefighters had to call in additional fire crews from Fort Sam Houston, Alamo Heights, and Olmos Park to help put out the fire. The woman in the house was found by neighbors roaming around outside looking for her husband. The female resident did have 18% of burns on her body. She was transported to Samsey. She was alert and oriented at the time of transport. Her hair was singed. Uh, she had suit on her face and, you know, just her night clothes, it looked bad. Neighbors tell me the victims are named Charlie and Sue Tuttle. She's an art teacher in the Edgewood School District and he's a local attorney. The explosion was so powerful that it blew their garage right across the street. Debris is scattered everywhere. A brick wall of the house even fell onto a car. It appears the Tuttles lost everything in this fire and neighbors tell me they just did a major renovation to their home. Reporting on the city's northeast side, Matari Jones, News 4, San Antonio. Well, the Terrell Hills Fire Chief says it's very important to always check your gas appliances at least twice a year to make sure they're working properly.